What's good you guys, welcome back to the channel. I am Anirudh Bhatt, third year medical student at Goa Medical College. And in this video, we'll be talking about how to study physiology as a first year medical student. We'll be covering the best online resources available, the best YouTube channels. We'll be comparing the standard textbooks of AK Jain, Ganong and Guyton and helping you to choose the best. We'll also be deep diving into how to study physiology and memorize it for your university exams. Also how to study physiology from the PG entrance point of view. Finally, we'll also be covering some of the mistakes that I made that I wish that you would know so that you don't commit the same and you come ahead with your physiology preparation in your first year. We'll also be talking about a secret bonus tip that you can implement to take your physiology to a completely different level. If you're new to the channel, do consider subscribing to it. I look forward to making your medical journey as pleasant as possible. And we are starting right now. Coming to the online resources, I want to understand a simple point that in 2020, the studying has gone from textbooks to now online learning based on much more interactive content. So if you go on to YouTube, which is a completely free website, you will come across this beautiful channel titled Armando Hasadungan. I will link the video in the description for you. Now this channel produces a lot of content with regards to your MBBS life, in particular physiology. He provides images, videos, animations, audio narration of the content of physiology that you would want. And this is simply the best channel out there. Each and every single topic of physiology is covered extensively, taking you right from your high school level of physiology, right up till your medical student level, right up till the point at where you can implement these concepts while studying your medicine in your final year. The second YouTube channel that I recommend, highly highly recommend is the MUHS learning playlist. Now they have over 50 videos in physiology and the advantage of this particular channel is that they have properly structured each and every single topic chapter wise so that you don't have to go to n number of places to get a complete uh, review of your physiology topic and these videos mimic the classroom learning that you do and you'll be having some of the best faculties in the nation to come and give you online lectures this is completely free of cost and I have also used them personally and trust me it is simply the best out there. The third channel that I'd recommend if you want a much more detailed approach to physiology is Dr. Hardik Mystery's channel on YouTube. If you want a much more a slideshow format of a video then this particular channel is just for you. Now after you gain this layer one knowledge of physiology to gain this superficial knowledge about physiology, it is time to weave those knowledge together and this is where the textbooks come into play. You have three main textbooks that people use across India. You have your AKJ, you have your Guyton and you have your Ganong. Now coming to Guyton for example, Guyton is a very huge conceptual book. It's like reading physics. You just have to read the book and try to be a little bit more imaginative of what could be the manifestation of this particular physiological process on the body, what triggers it and what are the effects produced by that particular physiological process. I think Guyton does a really good job of giving you the entire picture and letting you decide what concepts you want to remember for the future. Now AKJ is much more exam oriented. After going through your guidance and getting a huge conceptual uh, expansion of the particular subject, you need to start using your AKJ. Uh, AKJ is useful for your university exams, correct? Because if you take into account the 10 year short note list that you'll be making to prepare for university exams, right? The past year questions will go back to your AKJ. Refer to that particular short note. See which appropriate flowchart in AKJ will suffice for that particular question and you will exactly reproduce that in your university paper. This is very useful if you want easy marks in the exam that is the usage of diagrams and flowcharts. And AKJ also provides a very pointwise format 
is be much more useful for you to remember and to implement it in the exam. So after completing your guidance, getting a full conceptual review, and it is a very good book if you are interested to learn the deep things about physiology. Then you need to go into your AK Jain to get a much more exam-oriented structure for your preparation. Now coming to Ganong, and I'll be honest here, I have not used Ganong any time in my first year, second year, or even third year. Ah, ah, I'm not me there. Because the language seemed a little bit more difficult for me, I understood that I should have had a much more deeper understanding of the concepts mentioned in Gaitan. to understand gono and simply i was not uh, going willing to invest the same amount of time in physiology when compared to anatomy and biochemistry and this is a mistake i believe that i committed in the first year which i do not wish that you all commit chor chor se bol ke logo ko scheme mein bata de after reading your guidance and your ekg if you have the time do go through gono especially the diagrams the flow charts the tables in gono This will also help you in your PG preparation because Ganong is the standard reference book for your PG preparation. Certain lines from Ganong will be directly taken and put into your uh, MCQ format that is for your NEET or your next. So do read a Ganong if you have the time. But if you've done your Gaitan and AK Jain, I think you are at least eighty to ninety percent sure of your complete. Next, we'll be talking about the most important chapters in physiology. Now, you need to study physiology so that the medicine that we'll be studying in the final year goes absolutely smooth. So, let us take a look at medicine, which are the most important chapters in medicine. According to me, CVS, RS, your kidney system, as well as your CNS, is most important in medicine. Therefore, the relevant physiology also becomes very much more important. So, if you have your time, invest more time into understanding these four chapters in your guide. Okay, so now you have a fair idea about physiology. You studied it from an exam perspective, and you also studied it from a PG perspective. Now, how do you remember physiology? Now, physiology is not about rote learning, but it is also about concepts. Correct, and this is where this is an advantage to you if you are thinking in terms of a concept. Now, once you get the concept, you only have to apply those concepts, which which means the practical aspect of physiology also comes into play over here. So, get, go to your library, get the practical physiology books, and you can start solving those problems where you can apply the concepts of physiology in solving the problems, and this will also help you to completely engage and ingrain those concepts and make them permanent. in your brain one mistake i made while studying physiology is not paying attention to the central nervous system chapters there were a lot of terminologies the various nuclei in the thalamus and the various parts of the brain and the functions of all of it i thought it was simply a very tedious process and in the exam the weightage also was not as much as the other chapters so i did not pay much attention to that particular chapter but please i am telling you retrospectively those that cvs chapter is the foundation to understand your final year subjects those ascending descending pathways those pain pathways pressure temperature the different types of nerve fibers so on and so forth they form a fundamental part of your entire medicine so please focus a lot of your attention on learning your head face neck anatomy and the corresponding physiology associated with it the various motor pathways sensory pathways the entire thing about uh, cns that is given in guidance please have an extra attention in this particular chapter at this point you have made your base with the youtube videos you gone through ganong you gone through ak chain and you hopefully studied your ganong so now when it comes to your university exams i'd say you stop this process of conceptual learning one month prior to the exam This is where you start using your AK chain much more to properly make the short notes and have those points one month prior to your exam and you'll be able to recall them. I am pretty sure on the day of the exam. That's it, guys, about this video about physiology. You can check my complete video about anatomy, which will linked right up here. And if you enjoyed this video, be sure to give it a like button. 
if I missed out anything let me know in the comment section below and do subscribe to the channel because I look forward to making your medical journey much much more pleasant just like you and I will see you in the next one.